What is up welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is kat today i'm going to be doing a time lapse and a review of the 1000 piece cobble hill doodle town hockey town puzzle we had so much of a better experience with this cobble hill than we did with the christmas one that we did a time lapse and review on so without further ado let's get on with the time lapse <music>
what did we think about this puzzle? This was one of the best puzzles I think that we could have started off 2022 doing. The image is so cute and honestly very realistic. It reminds me of what people in Canada do when it huge snowstorms so that was absolutely adorable i really also like the little small little details that you could see in there i think that was really cute i do have to say though because cobble hill does do the random piece shapes it did make the image quite hard to do because of the crazy piece shapes there's so much going on in this image i almost kind of think that the comic type puzzles need to just be done in the regular jigsaw piece shapes and not have a whole bunch of little tiny itty bitty pieces and crazy shapes there was a lot of times when we were doing the image we thought that we had a section in the correct spot but we actually needed to scoot it over more so it was just quite confusing but i do have to say the image definitely was absolutely adorable and we really did enjoy doing it I really like how they have animals playing in here and some real type of hockey stuff going on. I think the ice breaking was such a cute little touch. Honestly, the design elements of this puzzle was unlike any one that we have done and a really good job. I'm not sure what artist did this puzzle. It doesn't say on the box, but they did an awesome job. So here's a section of the puzzle picked up and the pieces stuck amazingly together. Probably some of the best pieces that have stuck together that we have ever had. I literally could not get any pieces to fall off. So way to go Cobble Hill. The pieces stuck in absolutely amazingly. You knew if the pieces went there or not. As you can see, I just had to push down and the pieces stayed. There was a lot of puzzle dust, I'd say probably a quarter size, but definitely did not turn us off from doing another cobble hill. Here are two pieces of the puzzle, and as you can see, they are pretty thick. I was quite impressed, and on the back there is indentions, and I think it's from where the pieces were supposed to be cut, and they just weren't cut 100% perfect, but that honestly doesn't bother us at all. The images are awesome. They look like they're kind of painted on. It reminds me a little bit of a Charles Osaki puzzle, but definitely brighter colors. They're on the normal brown cardboard, so nothing special. So will we be keeping this puzzle and doing it again? The answer is no, we are not going to, even though we did enjoy doing it. It was just a little bit too hard for our liking and just a little bit too out there for our liking um but like i said my mom really likes to do the comic type puzzles i'm not as big a fan of them but i don't mind doing them so this one i knew probably going into it was probably going to be a uh, toodaloo for me she liked it when we first started it but like i mentioned earlier how the crazy pea shapes were she's not a huge fan of the crazy pea shapes she doesn't mind them but up to this extreme she's kind of like okay, this is a little bit much. Therefore, this one is actually already on a Mercari and we do already have some likes on it. So if you want this puzzle, I recommend to head over there and get it quite quickly. Our Mercari is Ings one, two, three, four. We also have a bunch of other puzzles up there that you guys can purchase and bundle or just buy the one. We really appreciate all of our support that we get on our Mercari. On my puzzle hardness scale, I would give this a 7. I definitely think we have done harder puzzles, and I definitely think we have done easier puzzles. Like I said, I think what made it so hard for us is because of the crazy piece shapes, you think that a spot goes somewhere that it doesn't. It just, like I said, it was just a whole kind of ordeal. So keep that in mind if you decide to do one of these Doodle Town puzzles. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future puzzle content. Also, make sure you head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling Through Life, and give that a follow. We are ahead on videos right now, so we're probably going to be posting some Instagram com content in the next few weeks. Also, thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. I filmed this just as we hit 300, so my next week video will be a different puzzle collection video. I'm not sure which collection video I'm going to do yet, but stay tuned for that for next week. Those are some of my favorite videos to film. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my video next week. Bye!